Our galaxy houses some 300 billion stars. Think that's impressive? Our closest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, has more than a trillion suns. Ultimately, the galaxy is populated with an untold number of planets, comets, asteroids. The list goes on and on. In our galaxy alone, there are an estimated 8.8 .8 billion habitable Earth-sized planets. Check out mind-blowing facts about space. Space is completely silent. There's no atmosphere in space, which means that sound has no medium or way to travel to be heard. Astronauts use radios to stay in communication while in space, since radio waves can still be sent and received. The hottest planet in our solar system is 450 degrees Celsius. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system and has an average surface temperature of around 450 degrees Celsius. Interestingly, Venus is not the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury is closer, but because Mercury has no atmosphere to regulate temperature, it has a very large temperature fluctuation. Nobody knows how many stars are in space. The sheer size of space makes it impossible to accurately predict just how many stars we have. Right now, scientists and astronomers use the number of stars only within our galaxy, the Milky Way, to estimate. That number is between 200 to 400 billion stars, and there are estimated to be billions of galaxies. So the stars in space really are completely uncountable. A full NASA spacesuit costs around $12 million. While the entire suit costs a cool $12 million, 70% of that cost is for the backpack and control module. The footprints on the moon will be there for 100 million years. The moon has no atmosphere, which means there is no wind to erode the surface and no water to wash the footprints away. This means the footprints of the Apollo astronauts, along with spacecraft prints, rover prints, and discarded material, will be there for millions of years. One day on Venus is longer than one year. Venus has a slow axis rotation, which takes 243 Earth days to complete its day. The orbit of Venus around the Sun is 225 Earth days, making a year on Venus 18 days less than a day on Venus. The largest known asteroid is 965 kilometers, 600 miles wide. Discovered by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801, the dwarf planet Ceres was the first and largest object to be considered an asteroid. It is located in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter and accounts for 33% of the entire belt's mass. There's a volcano on Mars three times the size of Everest. At 600 kilometers wide and 21 kilometers high, Olympus Mons is a volcano on Mars that may still be active, according to scientists. It is the tallest peak of any planet. However, the Rhea Silvia central peak on the asteroid Vesta is taller at 22 kilometers. The astronauts were placed in quarantine after returning from the moon. There's a famous image of President Nixon talking to the Apollo 11 crew, consisting of Michael Collins, Neil Armstrong, and Buzz Aldrin. This continued until after the Apollo 14 crew returned safely. After this, it was decided that the moon did not contain any deadly diseases. The Apollo 13 crew, who had a malfunction and had to return to Earth, did not have to be quarantined after their re-entry, as they did not actually walk on the moon. One million Earths can fit inside the Sun. Ancient astronomers once believed the Earth was at the center of the universe. But now we know that the Sun is at the center of our solar system, and our planets orbit the Sun. The Sun makes up 99.8% of the entire mass of the whole solar system. One million Earths would be needed to be the same size as the Sun. Space is not that far away. Space officially begins at the universal marker of the Kármán line, this invisible boundary is 100 kilometers above the Earth. In theory, if you could drive your car upwards, you'd be in space in less than an hour. 
The furthest man-made object is Voyager 1. It has messages for aliens on board. In 1977, Voyager 1 and 2 were launched. Their primary mission was to visit Jupiter and Saturn. Voyager 2 continued on to Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 1 has now made its way into interstellar space. Voyager 1 is further away from the Earth than the distance between the Sun and Pluto. Both craft carry a golden record on board, which will act like a time capsule of Earth. It has greetings from Earth as well as different kinds of music. It also has noises of rocket engines, the sea, people talking, animal sounds, and lots of images, all of which sum up the Earth. United States President Jimmy Carter said at the time, This record represents our hope and our determination, and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. These messages have been recorded as electronic impulses, which can be translated into written words. If any aliens find it, they can enjoy some Louis Armstrong as well as some Peruvian panpipes. Any time you look up at the sky, you're seeing the universe as it was in the past. If we look at an object 50 million light years away, we're seeing what the object looked like 50 million years ago, because that's how long it took the light to travel from the object to our eyes. The moon is drifting away from Earth. Every year the moon is drifting away from the Earth by 3.8 centimeters. Scientists do believe that eventually the moon will move out of the field of Earth's gravity. However, this won't happen for the next billions of years to come. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to push that notification button so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video.